Hey y'all, welcome back to another video where today we are back in Destiny 2 and we have a new season out, which is pretty cool. I heard this one's pretty cool. Called It's called the Season of the Splicer and um, apparently has to do with um, the house, house Light of the Fallen and the Vex, which is going to be pretty cool. So, I hope y'all are as excited as I am. Let's go Hunter. Because, you know, you know, I have thought about, like, what would it be like if I made, like, a Titan and, and the Warlock characters? But I'm like, eh. Hunters are better. Because they are better. I'm sorry, it's just this the truth. This morning, for the first time in humanity's long and storied history, the sun did not rise. Huh? Osiris tells me it's a Vex simulation that has plunged the city into an endless night. It seems they have found a way to harness our energy against us. And even in all his wisdom, Osiris can offer no solution. As a bruh moment. I don't know what will happen if we can't break the Vex's hold over the city. I do know that we must protect our people, no matter the cost. The Vex are machines, and no one understands machines better than the Elixir. Yeah. Osiris and I can only think of one we might turn to. Mithrax, Kel of House Light. My spies House Light. he claims to be among the last sacred splicers. Those with the power to commune with machines. He may be our best and only hope. Find him, Guardian, before the Vex do. Will do. I hear that there is a long time, Guardian. My hidden report that Mithrax was last seen on Europa. Helping Varix evacuate Elixni defectors. Yeah. Both the Vex and Aramis's loyalists are down there hunting for survivors, shooting anything that moves. Be sure to shoot back. We need Mithrax alive if he's to help us with our Vex problem. Yes. My first stasis axe. are closing in on some residual signals. It could be Elixni bound for House Light, or it could be more of Aramis's loyalists. Why are you telling me this? I know Clear what I'm doing. Vex and introduce yourself to the survivors. Make it known you're not a threat, unless you need to be. Will do. I do not want to hurt. I did not mean to do that. I ah. Uh. What what controls am I trying to? Oh yeah, Minecraft. I, I was just playing Minecraft, so that's why I tried to do that. What is the setup that I'm using? It's so bad. What is this? Prospector? Uh uh. Hold on. Oh wait, why is this? Why is that stasis? You see that? It, 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 there was stasis next to that. That was weird. Alright, I don't want to use the prospector. So we're going to switch weapons. Sub-Zero Salvo. Let's go with Borealis. I feel like using a sniper right now. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Void's good against Vex. Actually, you know what? Uh, do we have... Yeah, we got Sunshot. I want I want to use that. We're going to use this. Empty. The Elixni cleared out before the Vex showed up. See if you can learn where they're headed. They'll do. Over their positions. Oh, it's Mithrax. Trigger. Message repeat. This is Mithrax. To those who renounce the violence of House Salvation and seek refuge in the House of Light. I will be landing a skin near Asterian Abyss. Bring only what you need. We must prioritize survivors over their positions. Trigger, message repeat. Alright. Asterian Abyss. That's their rendezvous point. A single skiff recently touched down near your position. It's got to be Mithrax. Hurry, Guardian, before he takes off. Will do. 
Uh, reach the rendezvous point. up in some dangerous business. It's a bad time to ask for a favor, but he and his house of light still worship the traveler. Well, I like this guy already. That heat signature, flames. Someone brought down the skiff. Darn it. Quick now, secure the crash site and assist the survivors, if there are any. All right, so it looks like the Vex shot down their skiff. Uh, it's been a while since I got to freeze you. I can see you try that again. Why can I not get any ammunition? I would like ammunition, please. For my sunshot. Oh, this hurts. Wait. Oh, I love this helmet. All right, I got... Oh, there's some primary ammo. Yeah! Now we can get this party started. Beautiful. The took down the ship and ambushed the Elixni defectors. There are bodies in the snow. Nothing can be done for them now. Mid Wait, bodies? Let a few survivors out, but they're completely exposed. Oh. Eyes up. Well, let's hope we can reach the survivors before the Vex do. Dang, the Vex are really cool, but they just and I'm picking kill. Up unusual energy spikes ahead. They're messed up. Be ready for anything. All right. Oh, look how many there are! The Guardian is almost here. Stay down. Stay quiet. Don't ambush us, please. How do you know we can trust them? I don't. Oh, they got the little baby following. What the light provides. We're on the same side, Mithrax. I like this guy. Guardian, I find you in the light. And on your signal, I call the rain. Mithrax Kel, it is an honor. We've been searching for you for some time. This is known. You are not the only one with hidden eyes. Many enemies pursue my house of light. They did not wish to be found. Then times are desperate for us both. The Vanguard seeks your assistance. I am aware. Vex systems pulse with talk of the city's endless night. But my people demand much protection. If this Guardian could assist me in blinding the Vex here, we can speak without risking more bloodshed. Alright. My Guardian will do whatever you need. Oh. I have opened the door for you, Guardian. Will you walk the path of the sea? Yeah. Oh. Did you send them into a Vex simulation? The path before them is no illusion. The Guardian Whoa. the Vex domain itself, where the machines guard their most precious secrets. Oh my gosh. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. I will clear the way. Thank you. So you can... You move free through space. None but our most skilled splicers can even perceive. Huh. The light shines strong within you.
Surprise. <laughs> Light so shines strong. Meanwhile, I'm using the darkness. Ugh. Oh my gosh, okay. I seem to have not played this game in a bit too long. Never mind, I always somehow get to the brink of death by doing something stupid and then living. I thought I have messed myself up a lot just now. I thought I, I, I completely... <laughs> I thought I was done for. Darn, I am bad at this game. I guess it really has been a while then, huh? Oh, look, another one of these engrams. Hold fast, Guardian. I will open <sighs> this Vex system to aid you. Thank you. Very much appreciated, Mithrax. Ours is going to be a very profitable friendship. You'll never see me coming. That didn't work. Right, explode. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Let's get you out of here. Oh my gosh. Not entirely sure what just happened, but... Oh, finalizers. No, oh, you're joking. Uh, Cyclops. Take this! I can finish it off with this. I keep forgetting this isn't Battlefield. I can't... I can't... Sprint while reloading. I'll take that. Subjugated cur curator, huh? Whoa, what? Why do I have two of these now? Hold on. That's new. I got two shots in it? That... How do I have two shots in a rocket launcher? This is hurting my brain. Oh, that was a very bad idea. Nope, just kidding. I know exactly what I'm doing. You.
fact that they're actually damaging me that much from that far away. They're strong. Okay, that's actually pretty cool that I can do that. Bye bye. You must flee. No. Do not fall. Huh? Oh, red wall. Okay. Time to go. That's not good. Thank you, Mithrax. Oh no. The power works against me. Pushing back. This is troubling. Indeed. I trust that you have this under control. There's the way out, I'm assuming. Let's get out of here. Oh. Well. No, oh, no. Oh, there's another wall. Huh? Uh oh. I have fallen. Oh, thank you. That was extremely close. Vex signals are dissipating from your region. They're leaving. Huh? Yes. With the core you hold, oh, the secrets of the Vex reveal themselves to us. To study such an artifact would benefit us both. But there is no time. My people must move on if we hope to survive. Mithrax, I saw those who wished to join you dead in the snow. Let them be the last to fall. Come, shelter in our city. You and your people. Oh, heck yeah. I call a kill. Can you offer the Elixni such a thing? I just did. <laughs> You'll be under the Vanguard's protection. The Vex are the enemy here. And any Lightbearer who disagrees can take it up with me. And we accept. With light in our hearts. We will join you in your city. Woo! Both the Traveler. Let's go! We have a cool Kel as an ally. Thank you kindly. Okay. Hey! My people shelter beneath the great machine. Who the heck are you? This is beyond simple generosity. I must thank Ikora for her gift. This sanctuary is not granted by Ikora alone, but by all who. Yes, and on their behalf, let me extend welcome. I am Osiris, and this is Lakshmi too future war court leader and city representative. My greatest appreciations to you both. The House of Light thanks you. Your house can best show gratitude by keeping to itself. Don't be I like that. Your assistance with the Vex will benefit us all. But not everyone in the city is so open-minded. You appear to be settling in. I will leave you to it. If you require further help from us, you must only ask. Uh, I shall. There are several modifications we will need for stable ether production. Submit a proposal to Ikora. She seems willing to get you anything you need. I must return to the people in the city. Future War Court has foreseen great misery for them in the days ahead. And they will need an advocate. I often forget how highly oh. those in the tower have placed themselves. The air is thin there. Best not to breathe too much of it. I don't like you. You must understand this situation is tense for us all. This encampment perches on the edge of the Cree, democracy. I hope your stay with us will be Uneventful. As do I. What are the chances? Vex are gonna attack. Listen, man, I'm sorry about them. I don't know what their problem is. You are amazing. Oh. 
<laughs> well, I guess we're going to the helm. But first, I want to take a look around. <laughs> Man, why is everyone... I mean, I get that the Fallen were a uh, Fallen were our enemies for a while and still are. But come on, these guys aren't like aren't those kind of Fallen. Look at them. They just they just vibing. They got baby Fallen. Why would you want to hurt them? <laughs> or Elixni now. We're not gonna call them Fallen because that's just disrespectful. They're they're Elixni, not Fallen. Um. Uh, what do we got here? Humans think of ether as food for elixir, a form of sustenance. That's only partially true. Ether also catalyzes physical maturation and promotes molting. In that sense, it's like hormones in human adolescence. In a world of unlimited ether, like rays before the whirlwind, all elixir look like captains. That's our final form. Most elixir you see now are underdeveloped. Huh. They're forever stunted by ether rationing, which began as a necessity and gradually evolved into a mechanism of social control. Now, ruthless leaders like Spider use the distribution of ether to keep their followers dependent. If Elixni are ever to live in peace, we must make ether available to all, regardless of rank. Agreed. I mean, I like Spider, but uh, that's not really cool that he does that. Also, do you notice... <laughs> so, Endless Night. You notice this? Little Vex stuff in the air? Uh, that's pretty cool. Elixni houses are more than tribes for sharing work and resources. They also represent living philosophies. In many ways, the House of Light is traditional. We worship the Great Machine, and we embrace ancestral roles like splicers and scribes. But in other ways, we're different. My father, Mizrax, is Kel of our house, but he does not act as past Kels. He does not take more than his share of ether, and he does not punish by docking limbs. These are radical, but popular ideas in our house. However, Mizrax Kel also believes in peace and cooperation with humanity. This is less popular. I mean, I can see why we've been at war for years. Everyone in our house has seen Elixni killed by guardians. Not just warriors, but innocents. And hatchlings. Okay, I didn't kill no hatchlings. I lived for many years among the Awoken, <laughs> and understand that humans do good things as well. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but the others in the House of Light have not been so lucky in their allies as I have. It will take time to earn their trust. Well, I hope that I can gain your trust. So apparently, this Ido person is the daughter of, um, Mizrax. <laughs> That's cool. Some Elixni tell hatchlings that these wards keep guardians from attacking us in our sleep. We know this is not true, of course, but it helps hatchlings to rest peacefully. Soon enough, they must learn that the guardians cannot be stopped by such things. That they cannot be stopped at all, even by death. After that, the war changes meanings. Dang. For grown Elixni, it's a reminder that the great machine blesses life givers and killers alike. We're not just killers. But now that we have seen the guardians among their own people, taking orders and making awkward small talk, I don't think this tradition will continue in the House of Light. We no longer see guardians as monsters, just people. Frightened and misguided. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's kind of what we've d we've done with Elixni and stuff. You know, we we always seen him as fallen, as almost. I, remember, I think in one of those earlier uh, that like uh, that strike that returned from Destiny One into Destiny Two, like uh, somewhat recently. Um, 
where we go to destroy that huge servidor. Uh, they called the, the the fallen devils. So we were afraid of fallen for a, a while too. But they're not monsters. <laughs> <laughs> so that's interesting. This shank has been with us for many years. She is temperamental, but loyal. She's in need of constant repair, but we're used to it. Our house has fixed every part of her, from sensors to exhaust. So when I look at her, I don't see an object. I see the members of my house. I see myself. To us, machines are vessels, not just tools. This is why scrap working is so important to Elixni culture. It's a way of sharing our spirit with the world, even when we have nothing. Well, some of spider supplies. I'm sure that guardians feel the same way about their tower. It's more than a hollow form, more than the rubble it was built from. The tower is the keeper of the vanguard spirit, exactly. and you would defend it more fiercely than any other building. Is it not so? I mean, yeah. <laughs> you got a point there. I think she's starting to understand us. Elixni is starting to understand guardians, and we're starting to understand Elixni. I discovered this shell among spider supplies. Many elixir fear guardians, but delight at your ghosts. We think of them as extensions of the great machine's will, deserving of reverence. When we arrived here, we were surprised to discover that many guardians treat their ghosts like equals, or worse, like servants. Guardians throw their lives away for sport in games like Crucible or Gambit, taking the miracle of resurrection for granted. As if ghosts needed the humans and not the other way around. Elixni have had their blessings from the Great Machine, it's true, but we've never known the power that ghosts grant humanity. I think that if Lixney became guardians, we would use the light to serve the great machine, not our own amusement. I mean, we're a team, right? My little buddy. I feel like we're more, we're more of a team, you know? And I would say that guardians need ghosts and that ghosts need guardians. We're a team. We're, we're, we are equals, I would say. Yes, they resurrect us, but I mean, without hiding in in our backpack, they're completely vulnerable and they'll get shot and die just like Cade's ghost. Um, but yeah, we're a team. We need each other. And they can't do all the things that we can do, but we can't do all the things that we can do without them, you know? You know? So, Ghost and Guardians are a team. But now, Elixni as well are our allies, and this is gonna be cool. I feel I can't wait to fight along uh, hordes of Elixni against the uh, the um, the Vex. Oh, you alright, man? You look a little bit hurt. Oh, look at this. During our golden age, the Elixni civilization spanned many star systems farther than humanity could imagine. And in all of our exploration, we never found anything more wondrous than the Great Machine. It's one of the few things that all Elixni houses can agree on. That's why shrines like these are made of many small pieces. Each bit was added by a different house. It's a tradition that lasted generations. Most of those houses are now extinct, and their members are scattered. It's funny. I revered the Great Machine all my life, without ever having seen it. And now that it's right overhead, I still look to this shrine for comfort. Huh. That's interesting.
You know, I'm starting to feel bad for slaughtering fallen so much. But, you know, the house of devils and stuff like that are our enemies. This is the house. This is house light. These guys are cool. They're working with us. And house salvation, other crazy group. Many Elixni spend their whole lives on ships. They become more than a home. They're like a member of the family. Mizrax found me in the vent of a wrecked ship, you know. We joke that my father is a splicer and my mother is a catch. <laughs> huh. After the fall of our homeworld, Reese, Elixni scattered across the stars. Having lost our grounding, Catches evolved from modes of transportation into permanent homes. Even after Elixni began to resettle in places like the Reef, we never lost our reverence for the machines that kept us alive. Now, after so much wandering, it's hard to believe that there's real ground beneath us and a real sky above. Huh. That's interesting to think about. Well, um, what else? Oh, this. Here lies the remnants of Kel's Scourge, a dark period in Elixni history. After the whirlwind, Many Elixni were overcome by feelings of hopelessness. They were homeless, hungry, and hunted by guardians and hive alike. So when Civix founded Kel's Scourge, promising to return Elixni oh. to power with ancient weaponry, many were drawn to his call. Though the Scourge claimed to fight for Elixni empowerment, in reality, they represented the final degradation of our culture. A once great interstellar civilization was reduced to an anarchist mob, led by a power-hungry coward. Let ours be a cautionary tale. No matter how enlightened a culture, there are always those who prey on our worst impulses for their own gain. Dang. It's kind of crazy, actually. So it seems like all the things, all like the um, these like codex. They're not codex. What, what's the word? Logs are around this building. It doesn't really look like there's anything really else except broken buildings around. This is where. They're like main base of operations. So I don't think there's anything out there. But let's just take another look around real fast. To make sure there's nothing that we missed. There was a third floor, was there not? There was. They won't let me get up there. <laughs> Pushes me back down. Dang. Oh, the sad music. Uh, oh, look. Hello. My name is Ido. My father is Mizrax, Kel of our house. I took my name from his first awoken friend, Sierra Ido. As scribe for the House of Light, it's my job to preserve our house's oh, history right. so that hatchlings may one day learn our stories. Mizrax Kel requested that I leave some records for the humans of they might learn about Elixni culture in their own time. As he says, Inside a catch, everyone breathes the same air. Though I have doubts that the humans will care to hear our stories, the snipers who look down on us do not seem like the curious types. But the great machine has chosen them. So I must give them the benefit of my faith. Why do we got Hopefully snipers looking? This effort does not go wasted. Why do we have snipers looking at them? That's kind of messed up, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Come on, you can't just do them like that. 
But yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else really. Like the traveler up there. This music is sad. Alright, what do we need to do? Oh, that didn't sound. <laughs> Ugh. Like legacy. Alright, we need to go here though, huh? Wait, what is this? Oh, okay, this is the part uh, that shelters. Okay, yeah, this is uh, this is where we are. So let's go to the helm. Right here. Let's see what else. What? Oh, I thought you were just like stuck in a box. Okay. Can't say I'm enjoying lying low, Commander. Reminds me of the old days. But, hey, I'm nothing if not good at following orders. If it was my choice, I'd be there helping you get the Elixni settled in the city. Might be hard to believe, but they're more like us than you think. Just give them a chance, like you did for me. Velask. That's how they say hello. Just so you know. Alrighty. Oh. Uh, what do we got? Alert sound. Analyze. Stable, huh? Guardian. Oh. I greet you in the light. It is I, Mithrax. Or Mithrax, as your people say. I speak to you through a servitor we liberated from the House of Salvation. It fuels our camp now, turning raw matter into the ether we need to survive. I will use it to study the Paradrome Cube you recovered from the Vex. In this way, it will provide for us both. We are settling into your city. You may have seen the work of the House of Light scribe Ido, my daughter. Oh, yeah, I like her. She's cool. She has been creating a chronicle of our journey. But there will be time for that later. This city holds great scholars and warriors. Ikora, Osiris, Lakshmi too, even the saint. They have agreed to aid in your fight against the machines, and I will be your guide. I am a sacred splicer, one who can touch the light rippling through the Vex networks. For the light, is all the wind through the grass and the motion of galaxies in this way i can see into the vex domain but you your abilities might grow beyond mine i have prepared something for you a splicer gauntlet the first made for a non elixni the ether it pulls from defeated foes will let you override the Vex signals. Push back and enter the machine domain as you did on Europa. Bring me data from within and together we will discover its secrets. Fight bravely. Free your people from this endless night. Huh. Thank you. Let's check this thing out, shall we? Splicer gun. Okay, use the ether and the splicer gun. Craft a key code. Huh? Oh, ether. Okay. Look at this thing. It's pretty cool. Destination hub. Well, let me see how much time we have before we uh, embark. All right, we're gonna have to finish that off, or that we're gonna have to do that uh, s a splicing mission in the next video. 
uh, we do it for Destiny 2. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you subscribe and like and hit that bell to make sure you all never miss an upload. Be sure to check out some of my friends' channels like uh, uh, TMB Porkler, Phantom Hunter 176, Chris Animates, TK University, Mag Bros. Um, I think I said TK University. Yeah, I did. And um, also be sure to check out the Cabal still here? What? Huh. And also be sure to check out uh, who's the last? Linkachu101, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.